Hello YouTube, this is Sonic TKK here, and I'm back home after a long, well, not long, but two-week holiday in Blackpool. Uh, I'm happy to be home because I'm going to record tutorials again, but I'm also sad to be home because I'm not on holiday. And it just reminds me of how, like, quick it'll be until I go back to school in two weeks. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today we are here to talk about this video, Request. Five LibGDX particle effects by Dermot Fan. Uh, he does a tutorial series on LibGDX, and this is one of his requests. Uh, and this uh, particular request, he talks about particle effects, and he uses the particle effect GUI. And I was, uh, uh, I can't remember what it was, but if you go to the wiki, uh, LibGDX wiki. Uh, if you go here, uh, you will get this command. Now, if you're like me and you're on a Mac, and I don't think this works in Linux because it uses a backslash, uh, so if this doesn't work for you, I know how to fix it on Mac. I worked it out last night by asking on the uh, Bad Logic Games libgdx forums, and what you want to do is you want to copy this command, open up something like text edit or uh, whatever. So copy this command because if you Put in the terminal, you'll get an error. Um, what you want to do is new document or whatever, just open up Notepad or something or whatever you're using on your OS. And uh, the problem is that, first of all, it's using com or not commas, semicolons here. What you want to do is you want to change all of them to colons. Everywhere there's a semicolon, change it to a colon. And every place there's a backslash, change it to a forward slash. Uh, and you're done. So now, just to show you that this works, I'm going to... Oh, forget about that. That was just a, a project that I was working on. Uh, I want to go here. I want to go to lib. GDX. Netly. This. Here we are here. So I'm gonna go here. What's the path? Uh G users in desktop lib latest but it's well net your own. Oh it's in stuff. There we go. And then what I want to do is paste in this command. Yeah. And so, oh, particle editor. And that should open up. And looky here, we've got the particle editor. Uh, I think it's too. Is it too big for the screen? Uh, oh, whoa. Lag, gonna retry to resize it. But yeah, now you have the particle effect generator. I'm on a Mac, and this might work in Linux as well. I'm not sure, um, but yeah. If you're watching that video and you're like, "Whoa, WTF! I'm running on Linux. I'm running on Mac, and I can't run the particle editor," uh, but you didn't comment on his video because I I haven't seen any comments on his video about this. But yeah, then you have the the fully featured particle editor. Uh, but if you're wondering why it wasn't working on Mac, hopefully you've got your answer because. The bad logic guys didn't uh, include a Mac thing, and Nate was one of the people that replied, and he was saying use Windows, um, which I personally don't agree with. But uh, you know, you shouldn't have to. It's not that it's Windows; it's just that I don't think that you should have to change an operating system just to use one program and then switch back over. It should run multi-platform, especially if it's a big thing like libgdx. It's like it's like awesome, but yeah. That's different topic for a different video. Um, hopefully this was useful to you. I'm going to try and submit this as a video response to that video. Whether it gets approved or not. Or when it gets approved. Or whatever. I do not know. But hopefully it gets approved. Because I think this will be useful to Linux and Mac users. And uh, yeah. Just do that command. Go into your libgdx latest nightly. Whoa, a lot of stuff open. Yeah. Uh, and... 
the run that command with the the fix, changing all the semicolons, the colons, and changes all the backslashes, the forward slashes. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.